there my friends welcome back to the Scott Ree project now another glorious day here in our sceptered isle in Great Britain so I'm thinking I'm going to fire up the barbie I want to do something different so I'm going to do a whole spatchcock tandoori chicken it's going to be absolutely amazing I'll show you how to spatchcock this in a bit basically we're going to cut the backbone out flatten it out take the skin off and then we are going to marinate it so for tandoori, obviously a tandoori marinade, we are going to use some Greek yogurt, we are going to use some garlic and chilli paste, and we are going to use some paprika, but then you want a tandoori spice mix. Now you can go and buy yourself a paste, or a spice mix, whatever, but I'm going to make it from scratch, hence this board of delights. Okay then, like I said, you can go and buy a generic tandoori paste or spice mix. We're going to make our own, hence this board of beautiful spices. Now, what we've got here then is we have got one tablespoon of ground cardamom. We have got two tablespoons of ground coriander. We have got one and a half tablespoons of cumin. In this one here, we have got a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of ground ginger. Then onto this one, we have got half a teaspoon of nutmeg, as you can see there, one teaspoon of mace. I will put this in the description. Honest, I will. Then we have got one teaspoon of ground cloves. And then finally in here, we have one teaspoon of ground cinnamon one teaspoon of ground fengarique and then one teaspoon of black pepper very very simple get them all in give it a mix and you'll know it's mixed properly when it all turns to one color then what we will do we'll make up our marinade with our paprika our garlic and chili paste our yogurt and then we will put a tablespoon of our own tandoori spice mix in or you can add more if you like it very simple then you can see want to get that all one uniform color give it a good mix get any of those bits that are on the bottom and that should smell we give it a good old mix up pretty pretty awesome now you can keep that in an air tight container and use it, I mean you don't have to do tandoori chicken, salmon, anything really, anything you fancy. Now that looks spot on, have a look at that, let's have a smell. Oh, if only you had smelly vision, that is stunning. So that's our tandoori spice mix, beautiful. So we can keep that in an airtight container and try and get a bit on the board as well <laughs> oh man it's a long hot day here at planet scott okay be using that in a moment right time to spatchcock this chuck so we're just untruss it, just going to take off the wing tips and we'll turn it over Now, what you need to do basically is cut down this backbone but what I'm going to do first of all is I want to take in that lovely little oyster of meat there by just finding it with my knife and going round it so we don't cut that off and then I'm just going to go down the legs either side very very quickly and as you can see the ball joint there in there I'm just going to go through and basically just loosening the leg as you can see there I mean you can snap it out just like that and then that gives us a clear run then to take off our backbone loosen off those legs now some people you can just Go through the backbone but I think loosening those legs as you can see there you don't waste any of that lovely meat so turn it round 
and then either with poultry shears or a nice sharp knife or some kitchen scissors just take out the backbone then she should be looking something like that and if you look in there if I could show you there's the breastbone so if you just get the heel of your knife just one nick and that allows you to open it up and what I like to do is I just like to trim any excess rib cage off you don't have to it's just me being fussy so just along like that then she should sit perfect so what we need to do then is take the skin off very simple just pull it off now the reason we're doing this is so we can get that marinade to penetrate right into the chicken and the reason we've took that backbone out is we're making it all one uniform level one uniform size should cook pretty much evenly I'm just going to take those wing tips off again and there we're left with our beautiful chicken so what we need to do again just some little slashes into the meat so we get a good penetration not too deep and then again we'll slash into the breast then we make our marinade okay then for the marinade depending if you're doing a whole chicken obviously if you want to do just chicken legs or chicken breasts on the bone obviously adjust this as you will but I'm gonna go for what I want to get a good coverage so what 250 grams of Greek yogurt I'm gonna go for a tablespoon of the chili and garlic paste a couple of teaspoons of smoked paprika and then that beautiful tandoori mix we're going to get a decent tablespoon in there I'll just put that in for now and we'll give that a mix up and like I said you can adjust this as you want might add a bit more yogurt in there check the flavoring but of course it's not tandoori until it's the colour of a 1920s flapper girl's lipstick bright red get it in there that's my kind of raspberry ripple have a look at that Beautiful. I'm just going to give that a quick taste. Oh, that's epic. I think it needs a touch more of our tandoori. Looks like a blancmange from the 80s. And I don't mean the band. Like that. I want it darker. Let's get it all in. Next, I'm just going to add the juice of a couple of limes. Just to sharpen it up. And then we get the chicken in. making sure we get a complete coverage making sure we massage it into all those crevices 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 cracks look at that 
then in with those wonderful legs and it's just the waiting game so a minimum of six hours or overnight if you can resist 48 hours the longer you leave it the better this will get just making sure we're totally covered and then periodically you know cover it with cling film and then every hour just peel the cling film back and just make sure it's all covered and get it in all those nooks and crannies but that pretty much is it beautiful pretty in pink isn't she so this has been marinating I actually left this overnight in the end look at it oh, now we need to get it on the skewers and on the Barbie ah oh, beautiful okay then let's get this looking like a chick chick I'm gonna go in thread through the thigh and I'm gonna go straight through it should pop out the other end just like that and then again threading through the thigh there and crossing over and through there oh my microphone wire and there we have our chicken oh look at him ready to go on my trusty two ross barbie what a picture I'm loving that so my coals have died down I want this ticking over nicely we want to get that char on that's what tandoori is all about that lovely char and hopefully with that marinade you know when you see a piece of tandoori chicken you cut through it you've got that lovely red charred ring that sounds a bit dodgy anyway we are going to cook this until it's at least 72 degrees centigrade internal temp so slowly slowly catchy monkey so i just want to seal that bottom now i just want to get it on its breasts and start cooking this bad boy the chickens have gone very quiet what can you smell so I've been regularly basting this bad boy and it is done have a look at that right let's get in the kitchen the light is fading but look oh, could you and all that char as we know is flavor mm. Oh man, have that on there. Okay then, so we've had it resting off the barbie. Doesn't it look superb? By all means, if you don't want to do it on the barbecue, do it in the oven or do it in the oven and finish it on the barbecue just to get that lovely char. Right, I've got to get in here. have a look at that mm. Mm. absolutely superb obviously put this with rice have it in a naan bread make a wrap pizza bread you know lettuce mayo whatever you desire just give it a go Okay then, for once, I am going to sit down and enjoy this properly. Just look at it. Hey. So if you've enjoyed what you're sitting here today on the SRP, please click subscribe. Click subscribe. Please click subscribe where my face comes down here. Also, check me on all my social medias. You'll see the links in the show bar, my Facebook, 
Scott Reed, the Scott Reed Project. Get on there, click follow and like. Also on my Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. Find me on my Instagram at Scott Reed Project. And also, if you want to help the channel along, check out my Patreon page. But until next time, my friends, while the sun's shining, get your tandoori on. It is an absolute mm, blinder. Right, I've got to sit down. Take care, my friends. All the best.